What's up folks, in two days time we're going to be seeing a live stream from Pantheon that's going to dive a little bit deeper into how we'll be able to get prepared for the upcoming pre-alpha. Now the pre-alpha itself hasn't been given a public date yet, but we might see a reveal of this during the upcoming live stream. They recently introduced the limited time pledge package known as Scion of the Black Rose, and you need to be pledged under that package or higher to gain pre-alpha access. Keep in mind that this is a $750 pledge package with the other VIP ones being over $1,000 or more. And like I said during one of my last videos, I would recommend against pledging into this package until you're fully aware of what you'll be getting into. Right now, they're still ironing out a lot of these systems, so you'll still be getting a very baseline version of the game. On top of that, you won't be getting an 8 to 10 year experience since it was first announced. You'll be getting about a 1 or 2. We talked about this during the pledge video, but in 2020, towards the end of the year, they announced that in the previous months, they had been doing a major refractor on the game's code base. This meant that they had to reconstruct a lot of the systems from the ground up, so in reality, development started and lasted for about 6 years, and then stopped and began again in 2020. They've also been posting alpha trackers to show their to-do list before the alpha 1 phase will be ready, and currently there's still quite a ways to go. So yeah, right now pre-alpha will feel more like a demo, and one that you might only be able to test out certain systems for. During this live stream, and by the way it's going to start around 6pm Pacific Standard Time on the 11th, they're planning to talk about class updates, world changes, and progress, alongside answering some of the community's burning questions. This is going to be hosted on the Visionary Realms Twitch channel, and this will be followed up by the monthly newsletter on August 18th, and the VIP-only developer roundtable on the 25th. Something I really hope we learn about during the live stream is firstly how long these pre-alpha sessions are planned to be. I totally get the idea behind doing it in small session format, but I think having some that might even last a full month, two months at a time, might allow the players to gather much more valuable feedback, alongside of course making people happy that are eagerly waiting its release. The feedback is more crucial, because if you're only testing the early game, you're never going to get the best amount of data you can, and although some might say that these issues can easily be identified in the Alpha 1 sessions, having that early start on squashing as many issues as possible will be beneficial for multiple reasons. Not just that it'll give the Alpha 1 players as smooth of an experience as possible, but also because identifying these issues and providing valuable feedback like on the mid game for example, can be a lot easier if you're more familiar with how these systems used to work. Also, we've seen cases before where developers will change mechanics or features around, but it turned out that the system was actually way better in a previous state, but players won't know to give that feedback unless they were able to actually get there. Case in point, I played in every alpha phase of New World and I always considered the best versions of the game from a gameplay and mechanics standpoint, not counting the preview, was Alpha 2. I enjoyed the faction missions way more, the combat especially before they decided to remove the stagger due to popular opinion without trying other options, which I'm still fairly salty about, like just nerfing the hatchet or giving the sword and shield a defensive skill that could grant CC immunity or diminishing returns or something like that. But not to get off track, having that experience even in a broken or very early state and being able to identify these differences could be one of the things that helps to shape Pantheon into the best game it can be and also helping towards preventing as many bugs, glitches, and exploits from sneaking their way into the beta or launch phases. By the way, for this pre-alpha, they did say on the forums that the following classes should be available. The Dire Lord, the Rogue, the Monk, the Wizard, Enchanter, Shaman, and Cleric. Me personally, I'm actually planning to play the healer classes starting out, and then if I decide for all characters, which I normally don't in most MMOs, then I probably go with one of the tank classes to start with, like the Dire Lord. I keep flip-flopping in between them at the moment, but I do know that I really want to get back into healing, if not tanking. But overall, that's really everything we have to go over for this event at the moment. Be sure to tune in for that live stream though, and let me know what you think about the game's progress so far. Also, if you wanted to take a look at the different pledge packages and compare what you get, a person known as Telepath on the Pantheon forums released this fantastic pledge matrix showcasing all the different bonuses. I'll leave it here for a second, but that's all for now folks. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful night or day.